Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this gold and brown-ish, black-ish look using the Morphe palette I put together. So Morphe had um, has several individual pans and so I bought a bunch of individual pans to see what kind of eye looks I could create. This was the first time that I've ever used the Morphe eyeshadows in the pans. And so, to be honest with you, I really liked them. Um, they all blended very well and they just did fantastic. So now I understand why so many people enjoy the, the Morphe brand because it's inexpensive and um, the colors work well together. So if I had my opportunity to purchase Morphe eyeshadow again, would I? Yes, I would. Um, and as you guys know, I've continued to do the Morphe subscription as far as the brushes go. And so we're going to be doing a video shortly on those Morphe brushes. So you'll have to stay tuned for that video. Um, I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed this eye look. And if you want to see how to recreate this, just stay tuned. Okay, so Morphe had a sale and on their pot, so I created a large um, Morphe thing. So we're going to start out this morning using Cream Puff. We're going to use that all over the eyelid as our base. Now that we have Cream Puff in place, we're going to build it a little bit more using Peanut. Okay, so my camera shut off in the middle of me finishing my face. So I'm going to tell you what I use to finish my face. And um, we'll go from there. So I did use the Too Faced Blush in Perfect Flush Blush. I used the um, Makeup Geek Highlighter. And this one over here in Nightlight is what I use to keep the gold flowing because we left some gold and I used I'm not sure if this is an eyeliner or a lip liner but this one is from Wet n Wild called Pros and Bronze so I use that as a lip liner and I coupled that with the Urban Decay and this color is called Trick love the name so that's how I, what I use to finish um, this little look here so if you liked this look, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed this foundation kind of standoff between the Drugstore Revlon Color Stay and the Urban Decay All Nighter. The Revlon Color Stay was in 200 Nude, which was a little bit darker than the Urban Decay in 3.25, but luckily I used some um, concealer down the middle to kind of blur those lines out. But I hope you did enjoy this video to give you a good idea of drugstore versus um, a little bit further up the line on the price scale. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day. Okay, we are going to use the Lash Sensational for the lower lashes and waterproof. And the normal Lash Sensational. We're using Peanut and we're doing it in the two thirds of the eye. Then we're going to take Caramelized and we're going to go on the last third of the eye. And since we have the Caramelized out, I'm going to use a pointed crease brush for the underneath. Now we're going to go in with the color coal. 
which was my favorite dog and my first dog. That was his name. He was a Dalmatian. Okay, now that I've got coal in the edge here, I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush and I'm going to work that in. You are awfully noisy this morning. This is one of my girls. She's a talker. Now that we have that blended in, um, I went, I bought a Morphe pressed pigment. I saw that, I think, on Pinterest. And this one is called High Class. And I'm debating between this one. Oops. Oh no, that'll work. Darker in the box. Um, so, High Class and Golden Glory look about the same. Um, so since I just popped open that box on the high class, we're gonna use that. So I'm gonna take that on my little fluffy brush and I'm going to put it right in the, the inner part of the V for some sparkle. This is basically an eye look if you want to use sparkle but you're afraid because you're not used to it. This just gives you a nice little bit of sparkle and shine without it being overwhelming. Let me go take care of this little one. Okay, so as you can see, it it's light and then we go darker as we go out. Usually I go light and go darker and then lighter as I go up. So we're, we're switching it up a little bit today. Okay, so I'm going to use my um, Makeup Geek Black Eyeliner in Obsidian and I'm going to tight line and put it on the lower lash line. I'm going to use my Sephora Wink It. I'm going to use the color coal again. And I'm going to take this on the angle brush and we're going to go right over the top of the eyeliner. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a highlight on my Morphe subscription. Um, in a previous video that, well, you may see it before or after this one. We'll see how I release them. Um, I used the Morphe eyeshadows to create this eye look and that was the first time I'd ever used Morphe eyeshadows, although I've been a Morphe brush subscriber. So I wanted to go over these um, new brushes that I got from my subscription and um, let you know what those are all about. So this month's subscription is called Morphe Me Glitz and Glam. Who doesn't love some glitz and glam? Come on now, we all do. Don't lie, don't lie. All right, so we do have an angled blender. I have not taken these out of the package yet. So it says, let's get it started in here and the brush keeps blending, blending, blending and it feels so soft. Um, it is a bit stiff, so that could help with the blending. Okay, then we have a detailed crease liner. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is the cutest little brush. Check that out. And I'm, for some reason, I can't put down the other brushes. Look how tiny! So this, I was actually looking at an eye look that had a thin, thin little dark color right here and 
I didn't think I had a brush that could work for that. But this Morphe 515 brush is perfect for that really fine line. I've seen some women use um, eyeliner to create that line and then smudge it out. This actually, to me, seems like it'd be easier on the eyelid to be able to use a, a nice eyeshadow and create that fine look. Totally excited about this little guy. Okay, so then we have a round blender. Let me get this one out. So again, this round blender is, um, it's not angled, it's fluffy. I actually like the fluffier ones better to blend than I do the, um, the angled ones. I don't know. I just haven't got used to the angle ones is probably what it comes down to. And sometimes change is hard for me. But I love these. So this one is just absolutely wonderful. This one is actually soft where I mentioned the other one was kind of more stiff. So again, I think I would um, gravitate towards this quicker just because I love how soft that is. Okay, this little brush was um, kind of confused me at first. But um, it is called the Tiny crease blender so it says hold me closer tiny blender count the headlights on the highway so i'm assuming and i will try it when you use that little tiny one here to get a nice line that you could use this as your little tiny blender to blend that out so i'm actually going to keep these out in a side because i want to try it and i look very quickly to see how that works so Stay tuned, because we're going to use the brushes. Um, let's see. What is our final two? Our final two is the detail crease. And um, detail that is. So it goes to a nice point. It is very fine and soft. So that is going to be another fun one to use. And I'm going to keep that one out for that next eye look I have planned. And finally we have now this one i'm excited about a round contour brush if you saw the video well again i don't know how i'm going to release them but i had a major faux pas with a contour right here today and this little guy would have saved me had i done this video first um since i just unpackaged these but anyhow, I'm excited about using that round contour brush. So basically, all the brushes I just got this month, I'm keeping out um, for my next look. So hopefully you'll see those in an upcoming video. I really do like the Morphe subscription. I never know what brushes I'm going to get, and it's always fun to try something new. So if you haven't tried the Morphe um, brush subscription, I'd highly recommend it. And to go um, kind of link with my previous video... I used a Morphe palette that I put together. This was the first time I'd ever used the eyeshadows. Um, I put together this pan myself um, by ordering all of these individual. I mostly got matte shades since that works for aging eyes a little better. Um, and these all blended really well. So if you've never tried Morphe or you're afraid to try Morphe, girl, guy, you're running behind like me jump in, put your toe in. It's a great company. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful day. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend, and I'll see you next time.